Hello everyone, this is Gussie Warren of UFOSightedsDaily.com. Today I want to bring to you a face on Mars. This face is not too large. It's actually about uh, half a foot across. And it's about uh, a few, about a meter and a half to two meters away from the rover. This photograph was taken just two days ago, August 2nd. And as you see, I highlighted the face here. And it's kind of cool. Here is the original photo on the original site. This is Sol 2129, and all the details about it down here, taken August 2nd. And as you see right here, you can pretty well see the face really well. Uh, it's over here. The object is way over here. And if you notice that there's an eye, nose, very wide nose, very wide, very long nose, uh, kind of like a lion and lips the lips seem to have a cliff inside a cleft right in the middle very deep see that one right here looks like it's been done on purpose and open mouth you see it looks like a tongue inside and you see a lo lower lip a big bulbish chin and you see an ear over here which is very long and another one over here Okay, I believe this is the same length, it's just the angle. We can't see this one on that side. And on this side, it actually looks like it's more clear than over here. Uh, the ear, similar to what you might see on Shrek, if you remember, the cartoon Shrek. Uh, but let me see if I can make this a little bit larger for you so you can see it much better. I don't know if some of you have full screen or not on. Uh, if you do, it's much easier to see. Uh, so here's the eye. I would believe the other eye is right here. You can see part of it. Here is one of the ears. Here's the other ear. This one has great detail. It looks like uh, the edge of a trumpet. Uh, look at this long nose. Okay, goes way down to here, over, over, down. Okay, so it's really wide. And look at this part right here. It's rounded. Do you see it's rounded? Like the tip of a lot of people's noses on the end is rounded. Okay, right here is the lower, the upper lip. The uh, upper lip seems to have a little cleft in between. I've noticed that there is such diseases in Taiwan, it's more of a genetic thing, where some babies are born with a big cut between the two top, between the top lip. And so the doctors actually have to sew the bottom lip together after birth, and it, it looks pretty natural later on. Uh, here is a tongue. You can see the line on the tongue in the middle. If I make that a little larger, you can see the line, dark line right here. Okay. And you see the lower lip and the bulbish round chin. Just thought I'd share this with you. It's kind of awesome to me, uh, especially since it's coming out of this rock style object next to it, which makes very little sense to me. But hey, there's a lot of objects in the world made of rock that are sculptures on Earth. So why not on Mars? Why not? Uh, you say, Scott, you're crazy, man. There's nothing like that here on Earth. Okay, well, let's check it out. Uh, here's a few dozen just to check it out. Uh, we got some Egyptian things here, some uh, uh, Civil War things here, some Asian over here, uh, all kinds of sculptures around the world built in the mountains, built into stone. It's just rock. It's just rock carved by intelligent beings. It's just rock carved by intelligent beings. Okay? So that's what it is. That's what I'm saying is that uh, this is rock. You're right. It is a rock. It's a rock that's been carved and shaped by intelligent aliens. Okay? Aliens that were intelligent enough to, to make this object more amazing to make this rock into something incredible something beautiful okay here is one of the photos right here there's actually two and you see the object over here with lots of light however the other photo is less clear because it's darker but you might like the darker shadows to see other details of it you see there's a line going through the face there um, I actually haven't checked this out too much let me take that down Okay, I'm going to enlarge this because, baby, I need to check it out. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I just made it three times the size. Uh, 
most computers will do that. It's not a special program, it just comes on the Mac. Okay, and this is natural color, didn't change anything. Do you see the face right there? Okay, I highlighted the face. There's actually a line going all the way through from the top of the skull to the bottom. Man, that's awesome. I totally didn't see that because the sunlight was shining so, so brightly on it before. Man, that's like a tattoo or something. It's like a battle scar. Oh, that's freaking awesome now. I, I totally didn't see that. I can just highlight this part right here. It's easier. Ignore most of this. I believe this is part of the ear or something. And this is the other one over here. This ear doesn't have as much detail as the other photo. Um, however, the nose, the eye, and this line going through it is pretty awesome. It's like a scar. That's so cool. Okay. Anyway, this is Scott C. Waring, UFOSightingsDaily.com. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe, and I'll try to make more of these right away for you because, damn, it's just fun, and it's cool, and it's interesting. Isn't it interesting to learn what an alien species looks like on other planets? Instead of watching TV, instead of seeing people's movies they created from their imagination, it's much more exciting to see the real thing, real sculptures, of real alien faces created by intelligent inv individuals on a real planet in our solar system. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you at UFO Sightings Daily website. Thank you.